Hey guys, welcome back. It's the Frog Queen here, and today I'm talking about Little Bird, which is a new Image Comics comic book series. It is one of five. One just came out yesterday. I did read it, and I can't wait to read the rest. So I know that you guys haven't seen me in a while. I'm still recovering. I had a really rough year and it looks like 2019 isn't really getting any better. It's about the same. It's, it's about the same. So uh, nothing I can do about that. So I'm just going to continue to try and do videos as I can do them. Um, but I've been thinking a lot about my videos and stuff and reading a lot. So I know I have stuff to review. It's just a matter of uh, sitting here and editing after I talk. Sometimes I talk and talk and talk and record stuff and then I just don't have the energy to, to edit anything. Um, that being said, health updates, uh, I'm having surgery eventually, don't know exactly when yet, but it's coming and I am supposed to be like a new person afterwards, you know, the same person, just, you know, more capable of, you know, functioning <laughs> anyway. So Little Bird, uh, came out yesterday and it is a series, uh, written by Darcy Van Polgeist. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Artist Ian Bertram, uh, who I've been looking at uh, or watching their work on Instagram for a very long time. Um, he also is the cover artist, so you can expect the inside of this comic to look very much like the cover. <laughs> so if you don't know anything about this particular comic book series yet, uh, it is one that I've been looking at, um, waiting for, kind of anticipating now for a few months. Um, it did get uh, announced by Image uh, a couple months back, so I knew about it. I've been following Bertram on Instagram and kind of seeing some of the process art and, th and things. Um, Image Comics is, is talking about this book as if it's like sort of surrealist like Akira. I didn't really get that. There, there's definitely some points where I see some Akira sort of manga influence, but it really didn't didn't feel like Akira at all so I don't know who wrote that right up for image but I think they took like one part of this like initial um release this initial issue and was like Akira because of the one little piece anyways despite that um it's fantastic I really like it it follows a young resistance fighter uh named Little Bird uh, who is Canadian um and the resistance is against the American Empire, which is now, uh, it's not the United States. I think it, they're calling it the United, oh good lord, I can't even remember. Anyways, it's now like countries, it's not just states. And it's, yay, Christian. Um, it's basically a bunch of insane Bible thumpers that have some insane technology and they're slowly taking over the world and converting everybody. Um, except, of course, it's like the Vatican, but it's like the Vatican on steroids with like a lot of technology, scary technology and robots and stuff. So it's really, really cool and really terrifying. And I really like that about it. So the beginning of the story takes place in the Canadian Rockies, uh, which I don't personally know a lot about. I'm from the East Coast, man. Like we, we're so far away from that stuff. <laughs> anyway. Um, but there does seem to be like a lot of uh, influence from um, Canadian, like Native, I guess they call it Native American tribes since we're in North America, um, like the First Nations peoples and stuff like that. So it's really cool. There's like a real big tribal aesthetic. Um, whereas, you know, so it does feel like, you know, throwback colonization, crazy um, Christians coming in to convert everybody. Yeah. Uh, but there's this huge, huge feeling of like the importance of Canada itself um, and preserving Canadian culture. Uh, so our hero actually has like a giant maple leaf on his chest, which kind of, you know, reminded me of Captain Canuck, if you know who that is. Um, Chapter House uh, produces the Captain Canuck series, uh, all those comics. So yeah, there's this huge red maple leaf. <laughs> and the hero is like kind of like an anti-hero, like almost a Wolverine-y type character, but 
a little different, more old man Logan, I would say. Anyway, this is being uh, sold and packaged as a mini series. And at the end of this initial issue, they did say that they will not be releasing a trade. So I'm encouraging everyone to buy the single issues. That's pretty much the only way you're going to be able to read this. You will not be able to buy a collected edition. Um, there's going to be five issues. And that's all that I know of. That's all they said from Image. So I don't know if it's supposed to be one contained story in five issues or if it's like something that we'll see a sequel from. I think it's going to be a very successful book. Again, do not wait for a trade because there won't be a trade. They've already uh, said that at the back of the book in the letters. So... I think that's kind of cool. I think that's really bold, actually, because so many people are jumping on the trade-only train, and that's really affected the sales of comics, um, single issues, I should say, otherwise known as floppies, although no one ever calls them floppies anymore. I don't know why. Anyway, enough there, but <laughs> I think it's pretty bold to rely on sales solely from digital and floppies, so... I know it's going to piss off the people that wait for trade, but I think it's bold and a good move, and I like to see more people uh, kind of making that bold move and being like, hey, right up front, there's not going to be a collected edition. You're not going to see a trade a couple months after we finish this release. This is the only way you can read it, is if you go out to the store and pick it up. I think they are selling digital copies. I should definitely just confirm that one second. Yes, so you can, in fact, buy it digitally. Um, that being said, we will, you will have to buy the individual issues. We are not going to be uh, getting a collected edition here. So I think that wraps it up. This is a really cool series. I really like um, anything that really has to do with, you know, Canada fighting off the Americans because that's what everything kind of feels like right now. <laughs> And uh, I really like all the futuristic tones. It is very futuristic. I also, you know, really enjoy anything that makes the Catholic Church look bad. Um, and this, they really are the boogeyman of this story. The Vatican is like this terrifying, well, I mean, they are terrifying. This isn't even fiction. Is this fiction? Sorry. <laughs> um, terrifying big bad. In a lot of ways, it did remind me of kind of uh, the Technopope. <laughs> from Jodorowsky, the Jodoverse, um, because, <laughs> come on, you should see some of this stuff. Like, I'm putting up pictures uh, in the background here. I know I'm sitting here talking to myself, but I intend to edit in some images in between uh, me sitting here on the couch so that you can see some of the artwork. Um, but uh, yes, I really like this, uh, the church being the boogeyman. They are the boogeyman. Um, and yes, did a lot of it did remind me of the Jodoverse. And I don't know why the image write-up, the people who do the marketing at Image, or wouldn't automatically be like, this reminds me of the Jodover Jodoverse. Maybe they aren't familiar with Jodorowsky in the same way that I am, or maybe that just didn't pop into their head. It totally popped into mine. I don't know. You read it. You let me know, because um, that's the, the feeling I'm getting. Now, of course, it does have uh, also a very good, mm, what's the word, uh, modern feel to it, of course, because Bertrand's um, artwork is just has that feeling. It just feels so modern. Um, but I really love how detailed all of his artwork is. Anyway, I think you should check it out. This is definitely one that you don't want to miss, which is why I did a video on it. Uh, I try to highlight the things that I'm really enjoying and... I can't wait for the next one. Uh, we shall see. And I will try to do another video, that follow-up video, like towards the end of the series, let you know like my final thoughts on overall. Anyways, thank you so much, guys. And until next time, read something good. Bye.